What's up, family? Get on this Porter Mary Dash between Mary and Lee. Today is January the 6th. Wicked Wednesday in my city, Chicago. 2021. So they say. Now, it's a whole lot of buffoonies going on in my um, world city and um, space and time, okay? Um, as you should know by now, I'm the originator of rap. I'm the person who coined uh, your ghetto news reporter. That title alone is enough to, you know, for people to try to come at me. You understand what I'm saying? Because anything original people latch on to, you understand what I'm saying? It's like if you have, you know, a vagina and it's a bunch of prisoners around you and stuff, yeah. And you ain't never had any, yeah, that's the kind of stuff that's going on in my life. I don't mean to be so, you know, visual for you, but, you know, I have to keep it real because I am your ghetto news reporter and I'm dealing with a bunch of heathens, hookers, whores, prostitutes, and so-called pimps, players, mac daddies, and, you know, whatever else and stuff. You understand what I'm saying? A lot of them want to change and get out their um, so-called contract as far as, you know, uh, music or whatever and stuff, but then you give them a chance and stuff like I did May 31st, 2008. Or before I got railroaded May 31st, 2008 for so-called disarm the police officer in my, Chicago, in my city, Chicago, on Devon and Clark. And on Devon and Clark, if you look, you will see a, um, a bar that say Dino's on it. And it said it was established in 1967. I was born in 1967 right down the street it, on Greenleaf and Clark was an 8 a meeting that I went to, you know, stay sober, alcoholism, anonymous, or whatever and stuff. I'm breaking my anonymity because I don't drink drugs, smoke, or fornicate, and I don't eat meat as of a whole year and six days for the most part. Okay, now, because this day ain't over, January the 6th, 2021. You know, but anyway, I became too much of a goody two-shoes for all the sinners and stuff, and, you know, I guess they was losing money. You understand what I'm saying? Why trying to rob me at the same time? It's hard to, you know, act like you sober and then come around a person that, you know, you know is doing the right thing and stuff. So they got tired of faking it till they make it. You understand what I'm saying? And they had to railroad me. And that's how I got railroaded May 31st, 2008, because people could not stay sober and could not stay true to themselves. And AA, they say, to thy own self be true. Now, this camera that I'm looking at right now, I'm going to do it like this so you can see for yourself. Now, when I raise my left hand, uh, you understand what I'm saying? It will become my right hand. So when I say it to you and I upload it, my left hand is my right hand before I upload it to YouTube, okay? My right hand is my left hand. And I think I got it right. My right hand is my left hand once I upload it. You understand what I'm saying? And my left hand is my right hand. Now, when I upload it, listen to the words and stuff. Because the cameras lie all day. But the mirror does not. Okay? The mirror does not. So when a person is trying to come from behind you, you understand what I'm saying? This hand, which will, which is my left hand right now before I upload this video, will become my right hand. You understand what I'm saying? If you're coming from behind. But if I turn around, I've done this before. You understand what I'm saying? You do it and you figure it out. Okay? So this is how the devil gets people. You understand what I'm saying? Because... My left cheek has a dimple, but when I upload it, it will become my right cheek. So the Bible says, you know, somebody hits you in your left cheek, turn the other cheek. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not with that. I'm not with that. The police put a scar on my face. You understand what I'm saying? It's my left cheek before I upload it. But when I upload this video, it's going to become my right cheek. You understand what I'm saying? The trick of the devil. But the mirror don't lie. Okay? Try it out for yourself. So 
These are the type of people I'm dealing with. Long story short, the man in the mirror, that's what Michael Jackson said. You understand what I'm saying? I put that song in the description of this video and that I'll call the mirror don't lie, but the camera do. Something like that. You understand what I'm saying? Real talk. See, they leave little clues. You have to pick up on it. But these new people, these young, greedy, thirsty, hungry, weed, smoke, drug out, sex, sexual, they're not trying to hear all this. So I have to tell them because they're all around me. And they starting to come in my room. And I don't want to throw one of them out the window. For some reason, they think they're supposed to get the game for free. When I gave them my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors Plus One Song, talking about my child abuse, you know, real life story. This is not a movie. This is not a game. This is not a trick. This for real. You understand what I'm saying? I'm learning just like you learning. They learned more before I did. Because in Uptown, in my city, Chicago, if you go in the alley, it might be still there. They got a picture of Martin Luther King, and he got his mouth open, ah, like that, right? But they got a sign that said, Americans are first in prison and last in education. Because if you're not streetwise, if you're not, you know, up on what a person is going through or is about, and you just trying to steal a legacy because I'm the originator of rap. Yes, I am. Mary Lee, that's 20 Mary Lee, your ghetto news reporter and an originator of rap. And, you know, everybody just wanted to kind of jump in and get the money run and whatever. For some reason, they think I owe them something. You know, I'm the one that caught hell, worked my ass off like three fucking men. You understand what I'm saying? These motherfuckers have tased me, raped by five guys and took show me how much they don't give a fuck about me. They got a restaurant, you know, chain called Five Guys. You understand what I'm saying? You see how disrespectful that is? But I suppose I feel some kind of way about them now that, you know, the shoe is on the other fit, foot and I'm starting to figure out everything that I need to know about them. Yeah, I, they've done some shit to me. I just kind of look halfway decent. But believe me, I'm not supposed to be looking like this, but because they wanted me to look as masculine as possible. So, you know, when they whoop up on me, they can say, oh, I thought you was a guy. You understand what I'm saying? Because when I was trying to become a lady like, you know, because I'm 53 years old, okay? May 25th, 1967, okay? Real talk. And I'm not a bad person. I don't drink, drugs, smoke, fornicate, and I don't eat meat. I'm not a game banger. I'm not a, you know, pimp, none of that. You know, looks can be deceiving. You understand what I'm saying? Just like the camera situation, I just told you earlier because I want you to know that I'm not crazy but for some reason or another they want me to you know act as if I am crazy like I supposed to fight them and get my motherfucking goddamn money back that they didn't stole you're not robbing me you're robbing yourself because all you had to do was stand up and we could have split the money you understand what I'm saying for real because it's so much I come to give you life more abundantly but y'all rather die for what a reputation you understand what I'm saying it's like come on now it's my story my truth my legacy and my gift and my higher power gave to me to help the people out there were struggling all around the world see it's universal it's not just for colored people it's the american dream that came true that martin luther king god damn it got from somebody else by the name of archibald or somebody he he came up with the um uh, i have a dream speech first and then martin luther king took on and then martin figured out them you know he was in some shit he couldn't get out of and stuff for real, for real, because the demons he did to get what he, the position, you know, he had as far as, you know, being a fucking goddamn preacher or whatever. Whatever the fuck, I don't know. My truth is, you know, Martin Luther King's birthday is coming up. And we already did the video about his birthday in the Bible. First of all, anybody can come up with a Bible. They got plenty of Bibles. They got over 200 versions, but it's the one book that people you know, put together that is really the real hardcore, you know, truths and stuff. Like my book, Ryan's Poems and Metaphors Plus One Song and that, I don't even have a copy of. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, Washington, D.C., the Library of Congress 
definitely got a copy and everybody in the world because when they railroaded me on Mother's Day, because these guys, they don't like girls and stuff. Real talk, they into, you know, themselves or whatever. And they definitely don't like strong, independent ladies such as myself. You understand what I'm saying? So when I got railroaded for being at an AA meeting after I was made homeless, you understand what I'm saying? May 31st, 2008, and lost everything because of motherfuckers not liking girls for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it was because, you know, they grew up with their mother and it felt some kind of way. I don't know. Maybe it's some Norma Bates stuff. I don't know. Don't give me the line and stuff. I'm just saying. I've been through more hell than most of them motherfuckers. They had good education. But they had somebody family. You know what I'm saying? They had me, but they chose, you know, to say they didn't have enough. So, you know, long story short, you know, my higher power gifted me. Not you. Okay? Gifted me. So when I told them in 1995, when I put my voice to the I Have a Dream speech to Martin Luther King, whoever wrote it first, whatever. You understand what I'm saying? Because they said Martin Luther King's name is Michael, and he plagiarized a lot of his stuff. See, it's all about people trying to advance in life and the pressure and stuff, you know what I'm saying, that their family put them under, you know what I'm saying, and public scrutiny, and then they realize they're in some shit they can't get out of, and then they fake their death like Tupac and Machiavelli. You understand what I'm saying? Me, I'm still in the in the limelight, you understand what I'm saying? Because they want to make me seem as though I'm crazy and, you know, why they continue to use me up and keep their motherfucking goddamn uh, careers relevant. They want to use me as a respirator, pretty much, and keep the money. Remember, zillions of dollars? Yeah, mm hmm Like I'm supposed to just forget and shit and die. No, 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 no. I've been tased in my kidney. I live. I've been poisoned six times. I've lived. You understand what I'm saying? Now, eventually, if I do die, guess what? I'm not going by myself. You're going with me and stuff. The world will end. You have to believe in a power greater than yourself. Because if not, I guarantee you, you're fucking with the wrong motherfucker, you will find out and shit. They had put guns to my head. I told them, pull the trigger. Nigga, they didn't put me in a psych ward. They let me out because they know I ain't crazy and stuff. They crazy. They going to end up in a fucking goddamn psych ward. I think all of them need a goddamn psych eval and shit. How the hell you going to rob a motherfucker that could pay you at least $10 billion dollars? Everybody in the world is it for seven billion people, and I'm worth at least a zillion. What's the problem? You understand what I'm saying? Can't be it, can't be money, must be control and shit, must be status, must be I'm number one, I'm this, I'm that. You know, selfish ass motherfuckers. I don't know shit, but I've never been that type of person. I'm just a person who's telling you the truth and got a limited time amount to do it and stuff. And let motherfuckers know it's taken me almost 13 years. Pretty much 10 years, really, because I've been on my motherfucking grind like a crackhead up all night trying to figure these motherfuckers out. Because, goddamn it, I don't drink drugs or smoke, and I am the originator of rap. They get mad as fuck because I'm on time with my motherfucking realness and shit. My Luther King birthday, really, that's what this is all about. His legacy, I said, you know, Martin Luther King don't even have a statue. Next thing they know, they put up a goddamn statue worth $180 million. Nigga, put my goddamn face on that motherfucker and take his shit off and shit. The fuck? I just say shit to see what y'all gonna do. You think I'm stupid, $180 million, and I ain't never seen a hundred. I ain't even, I ain't never seen a million. I ain't, nigga, the most I seen was $25,000, and I'm the originator rap. And it might not even been $25,000 and shit at one time. You understand what I'm saying? For working my ass off, they stringing me along and shit like I'm a dumbass motherfucker gonna die for their ass. I'm not Prince, nigga. What the fuck wrong with you and shit? Step your fucking game up. Look, long story short, I'm not a show and tell ass nigga. You understand what I'm saying? This is not a game. This is for real. If I die, I die and you die too. You understand what I'm saying? Real motherfucking talk. It's not a game. It's not a game. I'm sick of this shit. And, you know, they know I ain't got no gun. They guns ain't worth what my higher power gonna do to their ass. They not gonna get out of that shit with a gun. You think they gonna get out with a gun, motherfuckers? That's why I gave mine up to the so-called police in 1995, because I knew, you know, come on now. I'm one motherfucker. Think about it. You understand? I serve a higher power that y'all obviously are not aware of. You understand what I'm saying? But you'll find out. You'll find out, because y'all was dumb as fuck for not giving me that $2 million tax-free in 1995. I would have jumped on that, knowing that I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. For real, for real. At the time, I didn't know all this. I didn't even realize I was the originator of rap. That's how far gone I was gone and shit. And working so hard, I didn't even have time to think. But now, shit, all I got time is to think. And now that I, more I think about it, y'all motherfuckers is crazy and shit for not giving it to me and shit. Now, each and every one of y'all who made $2 million, goddammit, you got to run that money and shit. So if you rob the church, you understand what I'm saying? Guess what? They got to pay their dues too. And with that, this is your ghetto news reporter, Miriam Dash, between the Mary and Lee. 
Y'all need to stop drinking, drugging, and smoking. Okay? You see my eyes, nigga? Mm-hmm. Sober as a motherfucker. And that's what you hate the most, bitch.